How are you doing everybody? Welcome to Russell Heritage Golf. Today, again, I've got a very, very good exercise that I'd strongly suggest that all of you do. Yesterday's video, I shared with you my favorite drill. And it was a question that came into Instagram and I basically had a little think about it and it's a drill that I use a lot when I was teaching. It's a drill that I suggest people do online and it was a drill that I shared with you yesterday as well. The idea of the exercise was very simple, that you basically take your, your lead hand suck it across your chest, use your trail hand to support that pressure, and then basically use your body to rotate to initiate the downswing. So the point basically was that the exercise was brilliant because if you bent your arm, you wouldn't be able to push pressure, so it helped you get the feeling of the force of keeping the lead arm straight, but it also made sure that you were initiating your downswing with more rotation led. And for more details, obviously make sure you watch that video. Today we're following on the same sort of exercise doing as we're talking about the trail arm. So the only kind of possible negative impact of that exercise if some of you tried it is that you'd have definitely felt the rotation of the body when you shape the downswing but as you're supporting that pressure with your trail hand there's a possibility that the elbow could end up getting stuck to the side of your body. So all you're going to do today just to evolve the exercise ever so slightly is that you're going to do the same thing. So you're going to take your lead arm, take it across your chest, use your trail arm about the wrist sort of position, and then just kind of really pull the left arm using that trail hand closer towards your body. And then from there, as you transition, you are going to rotate. You are still pushing pressure upwards using the trail hand up on your left hand but you're also going to start to kind of externally move this arm and try and get the feeling of driving the elbow. Now, we'll come back to how to do that. We'll do that little sequence a few more times. It's kind of like, imagine throwing a ball analogy. You'd be moving this way. So you would be moving in terms of with your chest, right? You wouldn't move this way if it came to throwing a ball. So you'd be pushing down in towards the ground, pelvis down, as if you're really kind of getting get ready, storing energy using those bigger muscles. So it's something that we would do. But if you can imagine throwing a ball where the elbow gets stuck to the side of you, you know, they'd be limited. You'd be limited in terms of how much power. When throwing a ball, you would really externally rotate this motion here, driving the elbow. It creates a huge amount more of energy, but also helps the release of the golf club. Those of you who tried the drill yesterday, and felt that it made a massive impact on your feeling towards the transition, then excellent. If you want to take it to that next level, like using this trail hand more, you need to start driving the elbow. And the way that you're going to drive the elbow is by doing this drill. See, what you don't want to do in the golf swing is that if I kind of swung up to the top and just drove my elbow, driving the elbow is absolutely no good on its own. It's going to achieve nothing. It might achieve a subtle shallowing in the golf swing, but without any sort of rotational movement, it accounts for nothing anyway. So priority number one, turn, separate, move the lower body first, feel like you're pushing down in towards the floor. That's how you're going to generate energy. What we also need to do is that we need to bring the arms to the side of the body, if you like, or bring the elbow down to keep us on plane. But if you can actually drive that elbow a little bit as well, it creates an extra force. Like we said, throwing the ball. So instead of throwing the ball like skimming a stone this way and you really drive it this way, it's obviously going to be much more powerful. So the drill again. Into your posture. <clears throat> right hand underneath your lead hand. Okay, Your right arm would be naturally bent, very much the same as in your posture. Swing back. Then use your right hand again to pull your left arm closer. Okay, so you should really feel an element of activation around the shoulder area. As you then transition, I am keeping the same amount of pressure on my right hand on my left, and I am moving downward and rotating with my lower body. But what I'm also going to be doing now as you can see, is that I'm going to be driving my elbow in front of my hip, so my arm is basically going <clears throat> forwards and up. That's the pressure. That's how it feels. It's that my arm is still putting pressure, keeping my left arm up in the air, but I'm also driving the elbow. Notice is the more that you keep doing this exercise, so the more that I turn down and I drive my elbow, the more you'll start to create space. So all of a sudden I've got all this space now I can swing into, 
as opposed to those golfers that pull the club down. There's no space as opposed to golfers who just drive the elbow. The space is over there. If you can sequence this movement where it's downward, drive the elbow, push pressure. And yes, with this exercise, you are going to be activating the bigger muscles. So you will feel an element of activation down the right hand side as you're crunching down with that rotation and you will feel an activation down that right hand side as you start to continue to rotate the lower body because you'll be creating an element of side bend which will be lowering you down to the ball and giving you this sort of power package position here where then your hands are going to be racing towards the ball with speed and then releasing the club through these drills are pretty much everything that the golf swing is about I keep sharing this information with you guys because I think it's really important that the way you're going to improve is not necessarily just always swinging a club, but actually by doing these drills. If you can teach your brain how to activate these muscle groups, then it's going to have a much better chance of recognizing that and trying to adopt it in your golf swing. So we're doing a lot of discussions at the moment. We've got some fun videos on the channel. We've also got some uh, exercise sort of videos as well. We'll be using Ed. And then there's these sort of drills and tippets as well, just to give you the sense of what actually it should feel like to have an athletic golf swing. So do the drill. The big difference between this and the last drill is that basically, as I came down in the last one, you could have moved your arm this way. This time you are trying to move your elbow in front of the hip while still applying a pressure upward nature on the lead hand. And that is going to give you the same sense as to what it's like to throw a ball. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Always appreciate a thumbs up and a like. Remember, it's absolutely free to press that subscribe button. This is a fantastic drill, so I'm hoping that everybody will definitely try it and also definitely enjoy it. Press the little bell icon. That means you receive notifications every time a new video comes out. Catch up with you guys again soon.